The second refresher, cognitive um, dissonance. This is an older theory. Um, for our purposes, the core concept is that ideas or tasks have a degree of psychological compatibility. And if we are asked to entertain incompatible ideas or tasks at the same time, uh, our brains respond by attempting to force some kind of alignment. And the various tactics employed can include ignoring or just rejecting one of the incompatible pieces of information. Um, perhaps we just disbelieve one. Um, but the research has also shown, and this is really important for schools, um, that there is an emotional element here and that actually subjects can grow angry or hold some other negative emotional uh, feeling towards the provider of that incompatible information. And in the context of parent communication, part of the, part of the job here is to think about planning uh, strategic communications more strategically. You've got to understand that um, for all of the communication that you as a school leader are aware of that a parent might be receiving, there's probably a lot more, maybe the same again, that you're not aware of. Um, uh, it's, uh, even though schools are very, um, uh, in my experience, tend to be sort of quite, quite rules led um, and you may well have a sort of sense that communication happens in a certain structured, rigid way. Um, at the end of the day, there is communication happening from teachers to parents all the time, even if it's verbal. Um, and of course, also between parents. And you're not in control of that. And it's happening um, increasingly. It just the scale, the scale of that is, has been increasing since the advent of the Internet and will continue to, to increase. So if you think about the opportunity for cognitive dissonance to creep in, um, if parents have accumulated a set of views about something with, to do with the school through the conversations with themselves or with teachers, and then they're hearing something completely different from the school, that could mean that they just end up not really hearing what it is you're trying to send to them.